Good morning, folks. We've got news from way above our heads to beneath our feet, but we're going to begin with the formerly dangerous Earth-facing sunspot, Central Bright Loops, here. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com and see the last 24 hours and 193 angstroms. Utter silence from the active region that produced large CMEs before meeting the Earth-facing quiet. Plasma filaments around him today present the larger threat, as we've also just watched a much larger filament depart over the northwestern limb. Compare its size to that of Earth. A phenomenal structure. Solar wind here. Purple. Plasma speed dropping and indeed we're between intensified streams at the moment with Earth's magnetic field responding in kind as the KP falls back. The next coronal hole will face Earth tonight. Its kinetic alpha waves and IMF effect peak over the coming 72 hours until its actual solar wind stream arrives. That's likely to be Thursday night or Friday. This incoming opening is the southern persistent coronal hole. We did see a newer southern extension 10 days ago, but this is the one that's been going around the sun for months. Quick note. On Saturday morning, there was a major disruption to the underground cables feeding Pakistan its internet. Three major such events this year already, and two of them during solar storms where other internet, electricity, cell, or landline issues were also happening around the world. Quickly checking in on the cosmic rays, we broke down this chart in detail in a recent Deeper Look episode on the website, but the shorter version here is that within about three or four months at current pace, we will have well eclipsed the cosmic ray zenith of the space age on our way to three to six more years of rising up, 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 expected to hit the highest levels in hundreds of years. Folks, it's a storm run in Null School at the end today, so let's quickly see how the pressure works the water. Hopefully you remember all lows suck in and all highs push out, both in circular helical patterns. What will be key here is to note the purple and red low pressure, which sucks in the tropical moisture but has worked side to side, avoiding the high pressure systems. This is how you track the motion of precipitable water from the tropical bank all the way to the polar regions if the lows will allow. The highs can do more than direct the flows, they can cut them off, intensify them. Really the point here is to notice the water vapor pattern so you begin to see it even when you're just looking at the pressure. It will happen. Major atmospheric circulations are indeed considered a primary avenue for solar and cosmic ray effects on the climate. The book can be bought anywhere, but the PDF download at otf.cells.com is by far the easiest option. We've got your wind maps, that storm run, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.